Hello and welcome to another GCN training session. We have a brilliant one in store for you today. It's a long one, 60 minutes, so hold on to your hats. Things can get painful. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it. We have a brilliant time. We are joined by Maddie, Katie, and Emily there for a brilliant session. Hope you follow along at home. Have fun with us. Starting off with a nice warm up, just three minutes. Two minutes and another three minutes, ramping up the intensity. intensity. But to begin with, nice and easy, get the legs going. It's going to be a stinger of a session. I'll make sure you're ready for it. So I'll talk you through what we're going to do today so that you don't run away before we even begin. Don't worry, you can do it. I'll guide you through it. Mainly a threshold session. So the bulk of the work is going to be a 16 minute effort, 12 minute effort, and 9 minute effort. Mostly focused on kind of reverse intensity, as I like to call it. So the hardest bit of those intervals, of those kind of long efforts, you right at the start, and it's going to ramp down after that. Sounds easy, but it's quite hard to control your effort after going so intense and so deep. So you're really going to have to rely on your form, rely on your core strength, rely on your breathing to get yourself back under control, keep you going. Now, and we're now a minute and a half into our little warm-up spin, and after this we're going to ramp it up a little bit, get the heart going, get the blood pumping, just to a level where you kind of start to find it hard to keep conversation. Five out of ten effort level. Really important this one to get warmed up properly because these are long efforts. Maddie, how are you doing over there? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm ready for the session. Have you done much threshold work before in your training? Yeah, I have done previously, but haven't done it in the last couple of weeks, so I think it'd be nice to get back into it again. Okay, it's going to be a brutal one, so it's good, it's good though, because it helps in so many areas of recycling, doesn't it? I mean, long mountains, hard, longer efforts, and it also just improves your short efforts too, if you can improve your fitness in this way. Yeah, definitely. It's a really important part of the training plan, so it's really useful. Yeah, so don't fear it, because it will work wonders for the form. 30 seconds left to go. We'll ramp things up to an effort level of 5 out of 10. Just start to push on a bit, okay? I'm taking things nice and easy so far. Cadence for this session is pretty similar the whole way through. 80 revs per minute. So you can follow along with us, but that's more of a guide on this one. Just going to change up. Five out of 10 now. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm pushing on a bit more now. Starting to feel your heart. Heartbeat rise. Yeah, cadence level, just do what's comfortable with you on this one. It's more about the work we're actually doing in each interval. So I want you to focus on your effort level rather than keeping track of your leg speed on this one. Don't shirk your duties in your warm up. You feel the benefits. A few minutes of time. And don't be put off if your legs are hurting either because that's what warm up's for. Flush the legs out, get them going. Don't be put off if you're starting to struggle. We'll have some recovery after this warm up, and you'll be magic after that. Into the big ring for the first time. Like a shark in the ocean. Big whale, maybe. Draft. Slowly paddling under the water. 50 seconds to go, 5 out of 10. Feel the energy. Get yourself psyched up. A quite short recoveries in between each interval, which is deliberate. Designed to make sure we're not just pushing too hard, we're getting that steady, longer effort level going. And I'm really going to motivate you today at the start of each interval, the start of each effort to go as hard as you can. We'll bring it home from there. Okay, 10 seconds to go, and then I want everyone to ramp it up once more to a 7 out of 10 for three minutes. 
and change up now. Right, three minutes. Push on a bit more. Get out of the saddle if you need to to pick up the pace. So he struggled to find the conversation level. This is a key session now, so make sure you get some recovery in the days after this. Great one to do during the week. Maybe you have a little bit more time after work, after putting the kids to bed. And you can do a longer, more gentle ride at the weekend, or whenever suits. A good one to get the tunes cranking to as well. That's how you like to do things. A bit of heavy metal, a bit of dance, a bit of reggae. Floats your boat. One minute 50 to go. Come on, let's get the most out of this warm up. And then we got two minutes recovery. That's when you let the warm up sink in. It's like laying cement, building the foundations for what's to come. Keep it going, everyone. How are the legs feeling in this warm-up, Katie? Yeah, feeling good. Starting to feel sweat coming on as well. Definitely warming up. <laughs> Got any goals coming up that this session might be useful for? Yeah, just like some races coming up really that with some decent length of climbs. So yeah, definitely. Nice one, good luck. Thank you. I hope we can prepare you well here at GCN. 50 seconds to go. I'm gonna back off a little bit. Make sure you got the water on hand, the liquids. I've even got a cheeky little gel in my pocket for halfway through the session. It's a longer one. I keep the sugars going. Definitely keep the liquids going, ventilate the room, get a fan going if you can. Lots of fans here with us today cheering us on. <laughs> Cabrabad is shaking his head at me. Right, 10 seconds left to go. And the warm up's over. Fun begins, okay? Knock it down, two minutes to go. Two minutes easy, it's a good chance. Take a nature break, get some water, make sure you've got everything on hand. <laughs> I bet it starts for real. True though, if you want to get off the bike, do a few little stretches, a few little mobility exercises. Be my guest. But I want you back on the bike for sure in a minute's time, because in a minute and 30, we're starting this for real. 16 minutes effort. It's a long effort. Short alpine climb, maybe. Brilliant one. Work on your threshold. We're starting things off three minutes. 10 out of 10 effort. Going straight in from the gun. Boom. Like a rabbit in the headlights. No. <laughs> That's the wrong analogy. Opposite of that. We're going in like a firework on New Year's Eve. <laughs> 10 out of 10, 50 seconds to go. Right, last sip of water. Deliberately put some hydration mix in the bottle because we're going to be a sweaty one today. Easy to get dehydrated on these sessions when you're on the indoor trainer. Feel good at the time, get dehydrated, you get an absolute banging headache afterwards if you don't look after yourself. So be careful out there, folks. Keep drinking before it's too late. Right, 15 seconds to go. Here we go, 10 seconds. I recommend going for it. Don't think about what's coming up. 
When you're with me, I want you to go full gas, absolutely smash it. Here we go, we're into it. 10 out of 10. She's like Froome on Von 2. Come on, everybody. Push. Cadence, what feels right. I like to push on a bit at the start. Feeling the burn already. Don't be put off, keep pushing. Come on. This is serious work now. It's a big day. Make it count. You're here now. The worries of the day aside and smash it. Don't look at the numbers. Don't think the time. Come on, keep it going. No let up. How are we doing, Maddie? How's the effort? Yeah, good. I think I'm just settling into it. Keep pushing, doing well. Good luck if you're following along at home. Hope we can motivate you to get through this one and earn a post-session smoothie. We're over halfway, come on. Dig, 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 dig. Hop, hop, hop. One minute to go. One of only three times that it'll be a 10 out of 10 effort level, so make it count. Push, come on. Squeeze. Try and stay smooth if you can, keep your form. Focus on the effort. It's like being on a big mountain climb, the pace is up, and you're holding on. But sanctuary is coming, relief is around the corner. It's all about a positive mindset now. All about hanging in there in the zone. Not letting the demons win. Gotta pick up that mental baseball bat. Come away. Right, five seconds to go. Here we go. Let me knock it down to seven out of ten, okay? So one, two tier changes down. Keep the pace going. Settle in now. You're struggling to get your breath. This is when you just try and get control. And stay calm. I'ma get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, and you don't kill my my fight. Four and a half minutes to go. Focus on your pedaling action. And you don't kill my you're just gonna do something funny. I'm gonna party until I drop. When I begin, I don't know how to see. Nice smooth pedaling rhythm. Take a sip of water. We don't stop, no. I see you looking at me, but you don't stand a chance, you see. You don't know how to act. I'm looking for classic. You please take this. There we have it. Keep it going. That's perfect right now. I will get my drink on tonight. I'm a good. Don't forget to drink in the midst of battle. And you don't kill my my fight. I will get my drink on tonight. Let us know what goals you've got coming up in the comment section below. Maybe once we finish the effort in the session. Let us know how you found it. Let us know what you're training for. Always great to hear from you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Found it useful. Keep on pushing. Hop, 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 hop. Three and a half minutes. This is what threshold effort is all about. Pushing hard on that knife edge between not having the legs and it being too easy. It's just that that zone between aerobic and anaerobic. Feel the tension in the room. I hope you're getting the adrenaline pumping at home. If you're 
Burton, just think of how you're going to wipe the floor with your friends at the weekend after this session. They won't know what's hit them. Coming up to halfway through this first interval. Keep it going. Get in the zone. The sweat will be starting to pour now. It's a really similar session when I was racing. Pushing on 16, 20 minutes at a time. It really hurts, even if you haven't got the fitness, it really hurts. Even if you have got the fitness, it stings. I'll tell you one thing, it does make a big difference, and it is worth it. Two or three days recovery after this, straight away you'll notice the difference. Straight away, the form will be in the leg. Just under two minutes to go. Come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Seven out of ten. Mix up your position. Get on a saddle when you need to. Hoods, drops, tops. Even a little bit out of the saddle or sitting with your hands off the bars. Unfortunately, I'm the tallest cyclist north of the equator. And I'm too big for this room, so I can't do that. But not to worry. Always good to practice your race position or get an aero on the static trainer. It's not just about putting down the power, your technique too. Getting in the drops for longer periods of time, feeling comfortable on the bike. I'm sitting at around 350 watts right now. Good job. I had three bowls of shreddies last night. Thirty seconds to go. Okay, right. Twenty-five seconds to go. I'm gonna talk you through the next interval. No rest yet. Keep it going. Halfway through. Now do three minutes. I want everyone here to change up a gear in 10 seconds. Going to eight out of 10 effort level, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. Harder gear, one up. Wherever you may be in the world. Let's up the pace. Dig in again. Feeling, Maddie, have you got any advice for anyone at home? Maybe yeah, feeling the pain. It, just try not to look at the screen, try not to look at the time. The more you look at it, the slower it goes. So you just gotta get your head down and try and focus on something else, like maybe your cadence or something. It's really it makes it so much easier to focus on something else rather than the time in these efforts, I think. Definitely, definitely good advice. Clock watching can make it tough. Do whatever you got to do to get in that zone. I used to think of a desert island. Nice, calm, crystal clear water. Maybe a pina colada on hand. Take yourself out of that pain zone. Think positively, positive thoughts. And remember, it's only temporary. It will stop. It won't last forever. Your body's going to tell you it's not good for you, but it is. You can go further than you think you can. Keep on going, keep on going. Only a minute and a half to go. Come on. Drive it. feeling it already, so don't worry if you are too. Whoa, 
one minute to go, then you've achieved a massive milestone in this session already. The bulk is done. The big intel is done. After the next five minutes, that is. We're just going to change back down into that easier gear. Just knock it back down again. This is where it gets tough, okay? This is where you want to throw in the towel. Just have to use a bit of willpower. Keep your rhythm going. Keep your breathing under control. Finish it off. Three seconds. Two. One. One gear down. Just one gear. One step easier. Now we're into it for five minutes. Don't forget to drink at home. Katie, how are you finding it? How are you getting on? Yeah, again, set on now, but yeah, feeling, um, starting to feel the pain come through, but embracing it. <laughs> And um, yeah, ready for the other efforts to come. How often do you use static training sessions? Usually use them through the winter when um, roads are icy, but I've done some zip races as well on them. And yeah, definitely get a good workout out of using them. Very time efficient, especially if you've got a busy day. It can be easy when it's starting to get dark and you're worried about the, the light fading. Jump on the train and follow one of our sessions. We've got loads of them here on the channel. On GCN training, hosted by a variety of characters, including myself, Anna Dan. Always fun guiding you through these sessions. I love it. Got to enjoy the pain. Got to enjoy the suffering. It's all relative. Okay, seven out of ten. Remember, keep it pushing. Let it fade. Keep drinking. Then we got some recovery coming up. Quite a nice session to do as a warm up, just until this point when we finish this interval. We're looking for a really good warm up for an event or a time trial or a race on Swift at home. If you want to get a sweat on, you want to push yourself a little bit, then back off. This is no warm up today. Big old day. Big old session on the bike. Sharing's caring and we're sharing the experience today. Two and a half minutes to go, and we've completed our first mountain, so to speak. Hold the GCN. Next up, we have the coach GCN, and then the murder GCN. Slowly reducing the interval time. Remember, this is the longest block of the lot. It's cool to kick it off with, but do it when you're fresh at the start. Things will die down to begin with at the end. Minutes to go, and we've got a minute's rest. Keep on pushing, stay with us, come on. Positive thoughts, up, up, up. This is it at home, folks, seven out of 10. Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Up the pace, come on. Let's get to the end in good form. Only a minute to go. 
Usain Bolt could run the Olympic final 100 meters six times in that time. Come on, everyone. Draw on your motivation. Pull some pain faces. Talk to yourself, wake up your neighbors, whatever you need to do. I wish I could get some of your support at home right now because I'm suffering with you. 20 seconds to go. Come on, head down, keep pushing. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Big, big breaths now, you've earned it. And we have five minutes of recovery. I'm like a waterfall here. I hope you are at home as well. That was a tough one, real tough one. Congratulations for getting through it. Katie, how are you doing after that? How are you feeling? Sweaty. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel all right. I'm looking forward to the nice bit of recovery now for the next one. Yeah, get the liquids in, get some recovery. Keep the legs spinning though, don't ease up too much because it will just be tough. We get going on the second interval, which will be shorter. At 12 minutes. Four minutes shorter, so that will make a lot of difference. Just done the hardest load of the session. Maddie, how does this compare to your hardest session you've ever done? Um, I'd say this is a pretty hard session. It's pretty hard to hold on to the effort after going so flat out at the beginning, but it's my legs were definitely thanking me for the warm-up initially because after that effort I was able to hold a bit of power. But by the end, it's just trying to get to the end of that effort for the, knowing that you've got the recovery coming. Yeah, that's why it is so important to get a good warm-up in on this one. I'm glad that we factored in more time to get the legs moving today. Do need it when those longer efforts come. Otherwise, it can be so uncomfortable. What would be your advice, Maddie, for anyone doing a really kind of intense effort and then looking to kind of get their breathing and their sort of form back under control to keep on pushing? Yeah, I mean, I've been told in the past that maybe you can do your efforts in front of a mirror, which is really useful to look at just how, like, focusing on doing circles and your posture during the efforts. And I think in these longer efforts, that would be an interesting aspect to add into it. But, um, yeah, just if you just focus on your posture and especially the circle movement, I think it really helps with the power output, making it more smooth effort. That's really good advice and static sessions like this. We've been back at home in the safety of a room. Good opportunity to kind of look at your form, your position on the bike and think about how your style is impacting your power hard to do it when you're out on the road, it's not the safest thing to do when you're moving. Good opportunity to do that on the bike. And also, just really push yourself and suffer quite a lot. Head down, push on. Just under two minutes to go now. And then we're getting into the second interval of the day. I know, but you can do it. Chin up. Half a recovery to go, get your liquids in. Fill up the bottles if you need to. I'm already through one bottle here. And I may be calling on our GCN Swanniers to fill a bottle up for me soon. If I buy them beers after the session. Minions! Just 
just under a minute to go now of this recovery period. What I would recommend actually, it's not a session, do a little 10 second sprint if you want to, to warm the legs back up. Just push on again, get your heart rate going. Spin the legs. Back off a bit then. Just to get your heart going again. So you're not too cold starting the next into it. It can be 12 minutes long. Decreasing in intensity once more. I'll guide you through it, but we're starting off max effort. Going to town, three minutes, 10 out of 10. Everyone in the big ring at home. Come on, you can do it. Big ring. Right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's push. Up, 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 come on. No slacking. No slacking at home. Push. Get on top of the gear. Push up through the sprocket. Keep on going. Push, push, push. First minute, just empty it. Come on. Up, up, up. Big attack going off. Big increase in pace now. Big hill to climb. Short and sharp. Heart rate starting to rise. Conversation is impossible. Luckily we have a very skilled sound team here at GCN. Can minimize my deep heavy breathing. 10 out of 10 effort. Come on. I really want everyone to go as hard as they can on this three minutes. This is the key bit now. Just push hard. This is where it counts. We come to this point with us. We're still going. Well done. Hang in there. It's gonna feel amazing after this one. It's gonna feel like a real achievement. Don't be afraid to get out of the saddle. If you are struggling, knock it down one gear. Pick up your cadence, pick up your leg speed, and change back up again. It's so hard. Get on top of the gear. And you're starting to labor and leg speed drops. Ten out. Under a minute to go. Keep on pushing. No pain, no gain, no guts, no glory. Enjoy it as well. Enjoy it. We're out on our bikes. Put the stress of the day behind. 15 seconds to go. Five seconds, I'm gonna knock it down to eight out of 10. No rest, okay, we're keeping it going. Just knock it down a few gears. There we go, three minutes now, knock it down. Keep going. Just a little bit easier, that's it, that's all. Keep on pushing. If you've had a bad day, dropped your coffee on the floor, someone's dinged your car, maybe you've punctured earlier in the day, just when you get out all those stresses. And I just heard that a minion is nearby to give me some water. Thank, thanks, minion. There we go. Service. Two minutes to go. If you have any minions at home, get them to fill up your bottles too. Make sure you'll be able to repay them in beer, chocolate. Good stuff. 
afterwards. I'll be repaying our minions here with an inner tube. Four minute 30, come on, serious now. Once we get through this one, we'll be halfway there through this 12 minute effort. We're we'll six minutes in. You can do it. Don't talk yourself out of it. Keep drinking though. If you are riding at home, on your own, try to line up some bottles, a big jug of water next to you. You don't want to run out of water on this. Have another five minute rest. After this interval, those of you running low, nip off to the kitchen. Get the water topped up. Forty seconds to go. Come on. Keep pushing. It's the hardest bit of the interval. In your six minutes is going to get easier again. There's more tempo then, it's more just ticking along, keeping the speed going, but these three minutes are key, last 20 seconds, finish off strongly, up the leg speed. Emily at the back there, doing well, keep it going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, one gear easier, one gear. Try and set into a bit more tempo now. Seven out of ten. The sort of pace should be slightly uncomfortable to hold, but you can do it. I'm going to take this time now to have a little bit of a sugar top up. Get a gel in me. system. That is going to keep us going for the final interval which is going to be nine minutes long. Increasing in intensity once more but keep this tempo going, this is what pace you're on, group ride. Maybe your friend's pushing a little bit too hard, it's annoying you. That sort of rhythm. This is the sort of rhythm that Hank, one of our presenters here, always rides at. It makes me want to throw him in a ditch. He's got quite strong biceps, I never really do. One minute and 30. Keep it going. Maddie, how you getting on? Yeah, I'm good. I'm looking forward to the last effort because I know it's going to be satisfying when it's all done. That's the thing, we've got two big efforts done at the end of this one. And then you know it's just one more to go. One more opportunity and you can rest. Maybe flick over to GCM Plus, watch a nice film. Learn more about my big bike, these 36 inch wheels that we built on GCM Plus. Maybe head over to GCN YouTube channel and watch some of the many videos we love to create here. Have a lot of fun with. Hope you enjoy them. See someone else suffer, maybe. Right, 10 seconds to go. Final three minutes. Just gonna knock it down once more. It's been amazing to stay with us until this point. It's been gradually decreasing that effort level. 
without that sudden. Now we go, three minutes to go. Knock it down one gear, six out of 10. The leg speed up. As I was saying, I'm well to get to this point. So hard to start, max intensity, get the lactic going and then try bring that effort level down and everything is just hurting and burning. Burning like a hot curry. Katie, how are you doing? How have you found the 12 minute interval? Oh, just tapping away really, just keep on top of the power. Um, trying all sorts of positions on the bars, just like trying to stay comfy and yeah, in my own little world, <laughs> really. Good place to be. Sorry for disturbing you. <laughs> it's okay. If you're in your own little world at home, keep it going. I'm pushing, we're going to be sending Katie to the next races in unbelievable form after this one. with a GCN Elite water bottle to boot. One minute 30 to go, and we've got five minutes of rest. Keep it going, keep in the gear, keep on top of your cadence, your leg speed, breathing under control. Nearly there, folks. We have done over 40 minutes of this session. Two thirds of the way through. Quick maths for you there. Minute. 40 seconds. Cruising, everyone, cruising. You're doing amazing. Two intervals are going to be completed in your belt. this one at home. Let us know in the comments how you found it after the session. See if you can stay with us to the end now, it's a challenge. See if you can follow along. Don't give up, this is a big, big session. This is a hard one, real hard one, one of the hardest we've ever done here on GCN Training Channel. Two seconds and easy. Five minutes easy now. Keep the legs moving. I know they're long and they're hard. Sometimes there is no other way. riding, keep the legs going, get the water in. Maddie, how did you find that? Yeah, it's um, like I said before, it's a satisfying effort. I think they're really difficult to get through, but once you get to the end of them, you've really squeezed everything out of your legs, so. Yeah, they're, they're hard, but I think they're worth doing, definitely. It is like such a tough effort and so long as well. I think it's quite hard to replicate it with shorter intervals. It does just make a big world of difference. Especially if you're going somewhere with longer climbs, which you don't have here as much in UK and Ireland. You're going maybe on a holiday to the mountains a bit form to get up those longer coals without suffering and you're able to enjoy the views really are good. So much work done in the space of an hour. Yeah. What sort of power are you looking to sustain on the 10 out of 10 effort? Um, the 10 out of 10 effort, I was probably just trying to stay at like 250 watts and then just really push it in that last minute. 
Um, in 10 out of 10 efforts, I kind of feel like you don't really need to look at your power too much. Just obviously just go 10 out of 10 and just make sure there's nothing left at the end, even if that means that you're really crawling. But I think that's what's really difficult with this effort is that you just keep going afterwards as well. So I think it replicates a race really well when you've just gone so deep that you can't just come to a stop, you need to just keep going. So. I think they're really good race efforts. Yeah, for sure. It's like when you do an attack in a race and you just get in that group and you really suffer. You have to kind of keep on pushing. Yeah, definitely. I know what you mean. It is, it is hard. It's good to replicate. It's quite hard to replicate as well outside of a race. Yeah. But you don't just have to be in your racing to follow along at home or to get the benefits of this session. It can really just help you improve across the board. You're just riding for fun. You just want to get your fitness up. This is a great one for anyone to try. Two minutes to go now, easy riding. Katie, what sort of rider are you? What are the sort of efforts you prefer to do on the bike? These sort of these sort of efforts, really, like the longer ones, um, like long climbs that you get in places like Spain, um, just like pissing the power, really. Um, suffering the most <laughs> up climbs, yeah. Do you like to suffer on the longer climbs? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad we're all on static bikes then, because you'd have probably dropped to me by this point. <laughs> but that's what's great about these sessions. We can all do them together when all... No one can drop anyone. Just motivate each other to finish it off to the best of our abilities at home. Or here in the GCM Pain Cave. One minute to go. Time to snap out of it. Holidays are over. The bar is closed. Little sprint. 10 seconds, just get the cadence going again. Get the blood moving at the heart rate up again. Wake things up. Shake out the legs if you need to. Tighten up the shoes. Get ready. 30 seconds to go. And we're going 10 out of 10, but this time just one minute. Just for a minute. And then we're going straight into a two minute, a nine out of 10. And then we've got four minutes at eight out of 10. So it's going down again. A little bit shorter in duration, so you can really go for it now. And it's one minute effort, 10 out of 10. I'm going to go for it two at home. Keep you motivated. Not going to let the pace drop. Three, two, one, hit it. All right, one minute, come on. Up, 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 up. Come on. Stay in the moment, don't think about what you've done, don't think about what's to come. Just one minute, all you've got. That's all you need to do. One minute, it's all I'm asking for. Halfway through already, come on, push to the end. Come on, just do what you gotta do to get to the end of this minute. All in. Empty the tanks in this interval. Five, four, three, Two, one, don't knock it down too much. Maybe one gear down. Keep on pushing. Two minutes, come on. Two minutes now. Push, push, push. Keep on pushing. Just think about how comfortable the floor will be when you can lie down after this one. Staying in a five star hotel. One minute thirty to go. Come on! Up, up, up! Come on! Show me what you've got! Let's do it! Time to unleash the power. Nine out of ten. 
Really, it's a 10 out of 10. Just go, do what you can. This is it. Big day, you've got a few days recovery after this one. And afford to take it easy, your body will be shattered. And that's a good thing. Keep it going, 30 seconds. Push, push, push. Come on, 30 seconds, let's do it. Come on everyone, keep it going. Nine out of 10, to the end. Keep it going. It's getting easier from here, it only gets easier. Five, four, three, two, one, knock it down, one more gear. Now this is a tough one, four minutes, eight out of 10. Just settle in. Settle into the climb. Try to get things under control. Try to keep pushing. If you're worrying about being absolutely shattered tomorrow, tell your boss it was Connor's fault and they'll expect a call from me. Three minutes 30. Keep it going in the pain cave here with GCN training. Keep on pushing. Stay positive. 50 minutes, it's been done on this session. 52 minutes nearly. The last three minutes, just tempo. Come on, push it. Katie, favourite climb in Spain? Four. Two Dons from Calpe, good climb. Nice one, know that one. Always good weather. Calpe, the scene of many protein training camps in Spain before the racing gets underway. Water can be nippy on the coast. I used to do a little swim in the morning before breakfast. Two laps to the bay. My team manager thought I was mad. If you're doing this session with us, you're not mad. You're one of the team, two minutes to go, eight out of 10. Last two minutes. You can do it. Getting to the end of this session now. You're nearly at the finish line. You can make it. Just two more minutes. You're riding to glory. The endorphins will be kicking in, as will that bit of sugar from the gel you had earlier. Come on. in. One minute, 20 folks. We're up to one minute to go. Maddie, how are we doing? Yeah, really good. Well, I say really good. I'm struggling a bit now, it's near the end, but it's only one minute left, so I'm gonna give everything I got. Nice one, you're smashing it. You're doing really, really well, Maddie. Same for Katie and Emily. Last minute now. Keep on pushing, tempo. Now, I did say last minute, but things are about to get spicy because I have a trick up our sleeve here. We've been decreasing the effort level so far in these intervals. We've got two minutes to come though after this. I'm gonna ramp it up, 10 out of 10 again, and that's it. 10 out of 10, everyone, finish it off. Didn't want to tell you about this one. That's horrible. <laughs> it's a mental tactic, I was saving it. I didn't want you to know about it. Come on, 20 seconds to go. No slacking, this is, makes it count. This is like supercharged training. 10 seconds until we hit it. Just give it all you got, two minutes. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Over the top now this climb. 
And we're going to push. Come on. Two minutes. And we're done. Come on. Keep it going. If you've got anything left, this is the time. You may be hating me right now. It's good for you. So, so good. Keep it going, you're amazing. Positive thoughts. We're all hurting. Come on, Maddie, up the leg speed. Come on, push, push, push. You've got it. Good job, Katie. Good job, Emily. The GCN train in Pain Cave takes no prisoners. One minute ten. The bell is sounding. Ding, ding, ding. Final minute, last lap, the victory lap. You have completed arguably the hardest session on GCN training if you get to the end of this one. Come on, you can do it. 30 seconds to go, coming up right now. Keep pushing. seconds to go. Come on, we're nearly there. Keep it going. Up, 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 up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Final push. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo. You've done it. Well done, everyone. Head the breaths back. That was a brutal animal of a session. Three minutes to recover. I feel utterly exhausted. But that was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed sharing that one with you. Big motivation to keep on pushing when I know everyone's following along at home. Oh, we don't want to let each other down. All around the world, suffering on the bike and having fun. Maddie, how was that? Yeah, really good. I'm happy. It was a good session. Good one to get through. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, fair play. That was I, a tough one. I also like doing these sort of sessions indoors because in the UK you don't get roads this long. So it's really important to do these sort of efforts of no interruption, interruptions. There's no traffic lights or massive potholes <laughs> for you to avoid. You just get your head down and get them done. So yeah. A good one. It is true, there are only a few unique places around the world where you can do such a long and uninterrupted effort. Brilliant one to do for the form. And a nasty one too, having the real intense part of it towards the start, so you can't quite pace the effort. That's a bit cheeky on my account, but I wanted everyone at home just to push, see what they've got, go past their limits a bit. Katie, how are you feeling now? Oh, well, gained a puddle of sweat, feeling hot, but yeah, good. It was a good session to get in the legs. That last two minutes was very cheeky. <laughs> None of us knew that was coming, so. But like in a race or a training ride with friends, like you'd never know what's going to happen around the corner. Like someone might attack and you want to go, so yeah, it was, it was good. Nice one. Thanks, Katie. Thanks for following along and completing the session with us today. Great to have you all. Maddie, Katie, Emily, brilliant to have you along. And yeah, I did keep that final effort on my sleeve a bit. I didn't want everyone thinking about it and knowing it was coming because it just is in the back of your mind a little bit. And it's always playing on your consciousness. 40 seconds to go now, make the most of the cool down, spin the legs, really easy gear. That was a tough one today. Massive well done for finishing it with us here on GCN Training. Let us know in the comments section how you found it, if you enjoyed the ride, how your legs are feeling a few days later even. Thanks for watching as always. If you did enjoy that one, please give us a big thumbs up. We have plenty of training sessions here on the channel, yoga sessions, you name it. If you want some more, maybe feeling brave, I'm going to do another one. Have a little scroll through and see what you can find. That's from me. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.